Buen dia. Hi guys, Sarah Lingadish here and this is another The Weekend Feels Energy Report from Mandela with Love. So, how's everybody feeling? Um, probably a lot. There is still a lot of intensity going on this week. Maybe you've been feeling all kinds of things all week. Um, as we've just come off this very intense and monumental weekend uh, from last week. So we're still in a moment of change and transformation and transition, which can be slightly uncomfortable, weird, um, and can bring up a lot of feelings, thoughts, emotions. Um, we are still in a moment where we're examining what no longer works and what does work. And maybe even looking at our past to see what we've done and what no longer serves us best. So we're still in this process of integrating what we've learned and accumulating more knowledge, more information about what we actually want. So um, there's a lot of things to talk about this week, but uh, basically, this is a beautiful moment in time, particularly for us to go within and to begin to listen more closely to our own inner guidance system, our own inner guide. Um, so this week I've had quite a few very interesting, beautiful conversations with some very beautiful people. And one thing that's really come up is that it's really important to stop and listen and learn to listen to oneself. And how to, in today's society, that is not really something that we're taught, that we've been encouraged to do. And a lot of people don't know how to listen to their own inner guidance. Um, especially since we've been programmed, conditioned, we've learned to always be doing, to always be achieving, to always be getting something, to get some kind of status, to get money, to get lovers, to, we're always trying to achieve, or at least that's been something that's been celebrated, at least since I was a child. And we haven't really been taught how to just listen to ourselves, get to know ourselves, and be in a more feminine state of mind, which is receiving, allowing, listening, patience. So this is a beautiful moment to really begin that journey within. If you haven't already, I'm sure mo many of you have already begun that journey of getting to know yourself on a more profound, deeper level. But this energy that we're working with now is really conducive, really encouraging us to spend some time in silence, spend some time getting to know ourselves and really paying attention to what it is that we want. Because we are in a major transformational moment. Whether people are aware of it or not, we are changing. Everything is changing. Our world is changing. And as we begin this massive transformation, uh, a lot of, like I said last week, dirt, a lot of shadowy muck is going to come up to be looked at. And that's okay because in order to accept and move into a new, we have to look at what's there. Okay, uh, another thing that's a really beautiful energy we can work with, particularly this weekend, is there's an energy for us to be creative, to explore our creativity. So whatever you feel called to do this weekend creatively, uh, beautiful energy supporting that. Uh, music, dance, writing, you know, just exploring what kind of creativity wants to come through you this weekend. Okay, uh, one thing that's a little less interesting or a little less agreeable, we could say, is 
Perhaps you've been feeling all this week that there's been some kind of interference in your communication, in your technology, and perhaps even in your traveling. Um, so that is going to continue, especially this weekend. Um, just be aware that there are some strange frustrations, things that aren't really working, delays, communicating with people, emails, phone calls, whatever, people not getting back to you. Um, be careful on the roads, be careful because people are not paying attention necessarily and there could be delays or there could be some careless activity on the roads. Um, so just be aware of when you're traveling, you may be delayed, there may be some weird behavior. So just your awareness makes everything a lot easier. Okay, this will definitely go through the weekend, so don't be surprised if you have some unusual experiences over this next weekend. Um, what else can I say here? Uh, oh yeah, also be aware of, because we're in this transformation, um, everybody, knowingly or not, is getting rid of what doesn't work. So. This could be bringing up a lot of frustration, some conflict, some uncomfortable feelings, some aggression. Um, so perhaps you're gonna encounter some people out there in the world that are gonna cause some kind of conflict or gonna cause some kind of unpleasant interactions around you. So because you're more aware, you can just let it go. You can just, okay, they're having a moment. I'm just not going to indulge the drama. I'm not going to indulge the story and get involved. I can just walk away. Okay. Basically, that's really what I wanted to share this weekend. Um, but also, I just wanted to share another beautiful uh, word, I suppose, a couple concepts that have come up. They've been here since the end of 2019, a butterfly just flew by my window. Gorgeous. Um, <laughs> they've been here since 2019, but one really big word that's coming up is commitment. Um, commitment, priorities, because we are entering a very interesting time when we are being asked to commit to what we want to be in the world, okay? what we see as our priority. What do, what do we want? What do we want for our lives? This is really a, a massive turning point. And it's an incredible moment to envision, dream, uh, you know, think up what do you imagine your life to be? Because that's the energy we're working with. It is a truly potent moment in time and I feel so grateful to be here, being able to share this information with you. And I, I just wanna wish you an amazing weekend of listening to yourself, going within, creativity, and visioning your future, and really stepping into the person you're meant to be, because that's why we're here. We're here to enjoy and to step into our role, to step up. And 2020 is really about stepping up, taking our power, taking action in the right way, okay? So I just want to give you a cheers. Happy weekend. See you next week. Today I am drinking um, a mix of orange, tangerina, and um, tomate inglés, this beautiful fruit. English tomato, tree tomato, tamarillo in America Latina. Um, yeah, so I just want to wish you a beautiful weekend and I'll see you next week, okay? From Madeira with love, I'm Sarah Linares. Beijinhos.